Monk Monk, it's a 7-Eleven gift card. You went and got all these Jones sodas from 7-Eleven, why won't you take it as payment? Don't side-eye me. Don't, alright, 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 I'll find some cash. 2018 Jones Soda, we've had it before, we'll have it again. Every year they put some out, we're gonna drink it. Monk Monk went and he, uh, he picked these up at his local 7-Eleven, and I think he might have marked them up a little. I don't know, all I've told is it's going to be two bananas per bottle, and that seems preposterous! Just keep giving me the silent treatment, Monk Monk, that's fine, because it's popping off. Jones Select, 7 Select, right now on Ken Murph Do This. Let's do this. You know when it comes to running a bar, Monk Monk's no soda jerk. He needs payment up front. He'll take a tip at the end of the night, but he doesn't want anything going under the radar. You gotta open up an account, and he's gotta keep it running all night. And I'm dying to taste these flavors. 7-Eleven um, has had some that are kinda strong and kinda unusual, but they never really disappoint. So I'm looking forward to this. And uh, since you've got my account, my tab open, Monk Monk, I'm just going to reach around here and see what we got going on. Oh, oh, it's a mango lemonade. And look who's on the bottle. It's Monk Monk's uncle, King Kong, up in the upper left-hand corner. My left, your right, camera view. Oh, baby. There's some guy boxing a unicorn. It's all kinds of unusual. But uh, looking for an exotic getaway? Well, you may not find your escape on the corners of here and there, but mango lemonade soda sure will make you feel like you're far from home. Tropical flavor, cane sugar, and a kick of natural caffeine. One sip and you'll feel a warm tropical breeze blowing through your hair. Whoa, unless you got a hat on. Then you'll feel it blowing through your monkey arm hair. Uh, wow. Well, again, cane sugar's king with uh, uh, it's Jones Soda and a lot of the other ones that we get in our glass bottles. I'm interested to taste mango lemonade because mango unto itself I'm good with but whenever something's mango flavored I've had a, a bit of an interesting time with. We'll see. Get a little salt to clean my mouth. Monk Monk always has nice treats out for the bar patrons. He's going to be making some nachos later, and he's going to be making some garlic bread squares a little later than that. But let's see how mango lemonade does on a warm winter's day. It has a nice mango taste. I don't necessarily taste the lemon, but it's a really clean mango. Uh, it's not too heavy, and it's not like lingering on your tongue. It's good, and it's still refreshing. Think Sprite level refreshing versus something heavier like uh, a Fanta. Uh, really is light. If you look at it under the lights, it's a clean yellowish orange, but I mean a lot of the stuff with sodas is, is artificial colors. Which I'm not implying Jones Soda, I'm just saying. But uh, the, the crispness and the clearness of this really uh, matches up to the flavor. Maybe almost like a, a Fresca on steroids. That's honestly a uh, wonderful surprise, mango lemonade. You get a tip on that one, Monk Monk. We'll come back and we'll rank at the end, but I think citrus for citrus is the way to go right now, and we have this blood orange uh, crafted by Jones cane sugar soda. It's a blood orange flavored soda with other natural flavors. What you hold in your hands is a bottle of the happiest of happy and the orangiest of orange. Sweetened with cane sugar and buzzing with natural caffeine, the tart twist to this citrusy soda is anything but ordinary. A bottle of this blood orange soda will fix even the fussiest of taste buds upright. Upright. Eh, maybe it means your tongue will just uh, bristle like a wet cat. But uh, 
some chihuahua, a guy with an old tiny camera, and a blood orange. And I got I almost feel like this is gonna taste like grapefruit. Uh, we have had blood orange recently. A couple, uh, well, uh, last week on our random snacks of kindness, we had that diet coke blood orange. So we'll see if this meets the uh, expectation or if it falls flat. Oh, oh falls flat. Oh, 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 monk, monk. Oh, right away. And I don't mean this in a mean way or a weird way. If you ever smell ketchup, and you get hit with the ketchup sort of uh, citrus uh, fruitiness. Because a tomato is a fruit. I read that on a Snapple fact once. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, I'm getting all worked up. But it is a fruit. It's more closely related to, wait, oh, and, uh, and an apple is closely related to a rose. Did you know that? So when you eat an apple, you can be like, Baby, I compare you to a kiss from an apple on my lips. Ooh. Yeah, look that one up. Let's taste blood orange. Wow. I guess this is one of those things where it's not uh, judging a smell by its flavor. This is alright. It's not too strong. It kind of, it's like a less sweet of a regular orange. You drink a lot of oranges, they're very sweet. Think Crush or uh, Sunkissed. You get that sweetness. This is more a subtle. Almost like a, an Orgenta, which are those little drinks you get at the supermarket in the Latin section. Again, not 100% what I expected, but not 100% bad. Not even 30% bad. It's a good drink, but if you're hoping for a heavy blood orange, like, kick you in the tongue sort of thing, it's not that. And it does have a bit of an aftertaste, and I know that can have a connotation, but it's not bad. It sits on the back of your tongue and says, let's go have a slice of pizza, which is what Monk Monk says right before he kicks me in the tongue. He's not going to do that today because I'm just out of reach. He does have those go go gadget legs though. And then he usually uses them to swing from the ceiling fan upside down. But uh, we won't get into that today. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a tip for that one. one, one. Oh, so these flavors usually come in four. They'll release four at a time. And um, I know you're seeing this in your field of vision, but we're going to save the bluest drink for last because there's a bit of a catch there. But, I almost feel like this bag is just taking over my life. But, hibiscus pear. They got a uh, furry little possum, a giant T-Rex, and a guy with, oh, a lady with a, a bag head mustache. Hibiscus pear. I like pears, but the only place I usually ever get pear juice is out of the bottom of my Del Monte after I pop the top and I eat the pears and I'm like, well, it's here, and if I just throw it in the garbage, the janitor's going to be mad because there's going to be liquid, so I go, yep, and I throw it back, and uh, at one point a lot of people must have dropped dead from sugar shock because now suddenly the syrup is like 35% less sugar, so you don't get that total overwhelmingness. But we have been into hibiscus before too, if you think back to our stubborn video where Monk Monk was much less uh, jovial and much less gregarious. Yes, Monk Monk, you've come a long, day, a long way from that day. He was stubborn. Watch the video. You just got a lot of monkey back in that video. He did hold the straws though. He can never be too mean because he's just such a fuzzy little buddy. Such a fuzzy little buddy. That didn't have pear in it though. I think that was the hibiscus orange. I don't know. Let's see what it says on the side. This is where fruity and floral meet sweet perfection. Our hibiscus pear soda. Experience the tropical taste of bold, bright flowers mixed with intense waves of tangy pear. A boost of natural caffeine and real cane sugar make this a fruit-tastic flavor you can't miss. 
Well, we didn't miss. We picked it up. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, okay. So this is for my poor kids out there and those with uh, non-discriminating taste. Tahitian tree. You can get an entire big bottle of it for about a dollar. You can get a liter and it was fruit punch. This smells like Tahitian treat. So if you're down for that, or if you've always wondered what Tahitian treat is all about, hibiscus pear thus far, I'm guessing it's gonna be Tahitian treaty. Not to be confused with the treaty that the Tahitians had with the Mongolians, where they were dumping oil on them. Oh, that was an episode of South Park, and that wasn't Tahiti. Never mind, never mind. Now granted, like if you look at the side of a Hawaiian punch and you see all the stuff, all the flavors that are actually in there, you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm comparing this to that. You don't necessarily taste the pear. You get a little bit of the floweriness on the flat part of your tongue. This is a fruit punch. Um, and maybe the pear and the hibiscus make it that way. I'm not taking the credit away because I'm not that kind of guy, but this is like a nice fruit punch. And it's not heavy. Like even it's it's lighter and in taste than the aforementioned Tahitian treat. Um, sometimes with fruit punch, you get that thing where for the rest of the day you're like, because it's all just coating your throat. Not here. This has been. We've had some disappointing times. We had a pretty rough go. Uh, a couple back on our uh, random snacks of kindness where everything was just funky. There's some times where you catch lightning in a bottle. Well, you know what? We won't reference that, that random snacks. We'll reference the one back on the 4th of July where everything was just awesome. It was like the Lego movie. Everything is awesome. Sitting at a soda bar with my monkey. Everything is awesome. So far, everything's awesome. I don't want to jinx it. And I know we're saving the best expected for last. Get this bag off of here. Oh no. I may have just shook this up. We'll save that one for last. Now, here's the thing. Hey, Mom Funk. You dropped my payment. Never mind. Um, I just don't want him kicking me again. Because he comes out like, whoopa, whoopa. He's like, monk, monk, shadow boxing, and the Wu Tang sword style. If what you say is true, the Shaolin and the monk, monk could be dangerous. Whoopa, ooh. Oh, monk, monk. Here, here, just be cool, baby. Be cool. We got a couple more sodas. There's no need to get all wild and feet of fury from feet that are furry. All right, but they still got, we drank the blue lemonade. We drank it last year. It must have been like, oh, the best one staying on the market, but we refused to drink this again, even in comparison to this. If you want to hear our review on that, there's a place, there's a time. But we do not want to disappoint you by having a lack of blueness and a lack of, my father always used to say, I will never drink anything that looks like it should be poured into the uh, windshield washer compartment of my car. But I'm not my father. I'm my own man. Just like Monk Monk's his own monkey. We're independent. Just like Joan Soda since 1996. Joan Soda, cane sugar and a natural kick of caffeine coming at you strong. But anyways, it's like, look at the stuff. Oh, that's yellow. Okay, you gotta think of another song. I'm blue, ba ba dee, ba ba ba, ba 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 bee, ba ba ba, ba ba bee, ba ba ba, ba ba. See, if we had animation, it'd be like, and this one would crash through this one. We're getting rid of the blue lemonade. We're going for the blue bubble gum. This is where I could get dicey, folks. If you want bubble gum, you chew bubble gum. I don't know if blue bubble gum is going to be over the top or if it's going to be just right. We had that foo foo berry that was just, I don't even know. I don't even care to think about it. We hit it with that birthday cake, too. It was two of the worst sodas we ever had. We're gonna drink the blue 
Wahlgang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, monk, monk. I love our secret handshake. Let me get all that funk out of my mouth. Monk Monk usually goes with the reusable shopping bags. He doesn't want the environment hurt. He's very natural. He even uses his banana peels to compost. He puts a big stack of them out back. Then he says, hey Randall, there's a, a bunch of footballs out behind the barn and then you'll hear because Randall slips and you just see a long streak of banana peels and Monk Monk's inside laughing like Muttley off Wacky Races. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, this one has a fat. Now is the time to set priorities. Well, our number one priority right now, Joan Soda, is to drink your blue bubble gum. Oh, boy. You know how to ruin a party, blue bubble gum. And I feel bad. Because I remember us liking the blueberry lemonade. Just forget we ever mentioned this. We need to close on a stronger note. And I don't think there's any stronger note in our business of uh, fine brewed soft drinks in glass bottles than the originator. We got a Jones Soda root beer. And I got a feeling this can't be bad. Root beer, even when it's bad, it's good. That's what Monk Monk told me. He said that about all the snacks under the bed. I'm like, Monk Monk, some of these snacks have gone bad. He's like, to me, they're still good. And I appreciate that progressive thinking, Monk Monk. Uh, if you like us, you think for your, oh, if you're like us, you think for yourself. Come on, do they really believe we'll fall for a flashy ad campaign that costs more than a solid gold private jet? Don't expect to find any of that here. We let what we do speak for itself. At Jones, we're just regular people who make good soda. Well, I'll drink to that, Jones. Just as long as this is nothing like blue bubblegum. Cheers. Just right. Just right, baby. And this ain't like our, uh, Friends make over at Virgil's, which you saw in our diet root beer special. This one has a thickness and a, a, a syrupiness, but not in a bad way. It goes, it coats your tongue, and it sets you up for the next sip, and it leaves you wanting more. Man, Jones, just when I think you couldn't screw up any more than with foo foo and blue bubble gum and birthday cake. You go and completely redeem yourself. Uh, quote attributed to Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. Or the other guy. I forget his name. He married his own daughter or something in the second one. Just right, baby. I'll give you two tips for making it up. Monk, monk, I know you gotta clean up. I know you gotta get out your little Swiffer. Uh, we, got him, we got him a Roomba so that he can just go Oh, he's all worn out from his Roomba riding. It's okay, baby. It's okay, monkey. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Popping off, we'll be back real soon. We got something lined up for our next big uh, festive day this year. But don't forget, uh, if you like popping off, which some people do at this bar, and they pop off about how much they like blue bubble gum. Well, you don't belong. Well, no. Everybody knows your name. Everybody's glad you came. Uh, it, it, it's just like Cheers, but with a, a less hairy bartender. That Ted Danson, look at his forearms. Oh, he's such a hairy man. But. Whoa. All fantastic. This one isn't, it might be available at your local 7-Eleven, but it's not nationally associated with these flavors. Blue, uh, blueberry lemonade, it's great. Like I said, watch the other video. Last year's Joe and Soda from 7 Select, this is their third year running. That blue bubble gum, 
Run. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> Monk Monk's having a nightmare about it right now. Oh, Monk Monk. Hey, be cool, baby. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. <sighs> Anyways, subscribe. Like. If you like it, tell your friends. Spread the word. Don't forget our playlist. As I mentioned earlier, we uh, just recently had last week our random snacks of kindness. Before that, it was Valentine's Day. There's just a ton of good stuff. We have our regulars, we have our one-offs, but we always have a great time with you in our videos, our friends. And uh, don't forget Facebook.com, uh, Ken Murph Do This, Instagram and Twitter, at Ken Murph Do This. I got a monkey that I got to help clean up. I got to dump these in the storm drain and then rinse them out, and then Monk Monk's saving them up for, so he can take them back for nickels to give to the local Boy Scout troop. They're hoping to go to Paris, France, and I think with Monk Monk's help, they may just do that. Oh, Monk Monk, you're such a charitable guy. His bar. Ha, only in America can Monk Monk start up a successful soda bar without the help of corporate America and big soda chains. But we love all soda here. Anyways, tune in next week where we will finally maybe get to those Lay's stackers. Monk Monk picked them out. I hear they're pretty bad. I don't know. I like Lay's stackers in general. We also got other fun coming up. Movie with a monkey. Just stay tuned to the network. Anyways, he's Monk Monk. I'm Murph. We got some pops to dump, starting with blue bubblegum. And we'll see you next time we do this.